Hi guys. Today we will analyze United Health Group stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. The stock has been a good performer in the overall market. Both the short term and long term trends are positive. Support levels are around $530 and $509. Next support levels are around $475, $448 and $395. The stock is at all time highs, which means there is no resistance level just above it. In the last month the stock has been trading between $489 and $552 range, which is wide. It is currently trading near the high of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 3.2 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model. Discounted Free Cash Flow Valuation This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 9% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 6% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 118% per year for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for United Health Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario, United Health will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 6%. Future profit margin would be low, 5%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $320. Second scenario United Health will have average performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation future revenue growth rate would be average, 7%. Future profit margin would be average, 5.5%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 90%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $407. Third scenario. United Health will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 8%. Future profit margin would be high, 6%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high. 100%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $507. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 18.27. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For United Health, analysts forecast growth rate around 9% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 24. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for United Health Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. United Health will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low. 6%. Future P.E. would be low, 16. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $209. Second scenario. United Health will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. 
Future growth rate would be average, 7%. Future PE would be average, 18. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $256. Third scenario. United Health will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future PE would be high, 20. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $310. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $534, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. The fundamentals are decent, and the stock is expected to show a medium growth, 7 to 9% per year, but the stock looks overpriced. The stock is at all time highs. I'm not comfortable to buy it at current levels. I may consider buying the stock at $400. Company Strengths United Health Group is an American multinational managed healthcare and insurance company. It's the world's eighth largest company by revenue, and second largest healthcare company behind CVS Health by revenue, and the largest insurance company by net premiums. United Health combines a top tier health insurer, United Healthcare, Pharmacy Benefit Manager, OptumRx, Provider, Optum Health, and Health Analytics Franchise, Optum Insight. Its strategy of providing medical insurance, pharmacy benefits, and healthcare services creates a powerful alignment of incentives that should help clients control their healthcare costs better than pure play competitors. As the leading provider of Medicare Advantage plans in the U.S., United Health's growth should benefit from ongoing demographic shifts and the increasing popularity of these plans among beneficiaries. United Health's balance sheet has been managed more conservatively than its peers, giving it more flexibility in a potentially changing regulatory environment. The company has a return on assets of 8% and return on equity of 24%. This is amongst the best returns in the industry. Its profit margin of 6% is amongst the best of the industry. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a medium growth in revenue and in earnings per share. The revenue will grow by 9% on average per year. The EPS will grow by 14% on average per year. Risks Economic downturns could cut into United Health's near term earnings power, especially if employer based insurance rules shrink. The insurance and pharmacy benefit management industries will likely remain targets of regulators, aiming to increase health coverage and reduce the health care cost burden on society, until universal, affordable coverage is achieved. The law of large numbers may eventually catch up to this huge healthcare company, making its mid teens earnings growth goal difficult to achieve in the long run. United Health faces competitive risks in both the commercial and government sponsored markets as rival insurers, both for profit and not for profit, seek to expand share. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.